give us any kind of update on your uplisting to the NASDAQ. What's going on? I mean, that's a valid question from our shareholders. I believe that we won't be uplisted to the NASDAQ. Hey everyone, and welcome back into the channel. Wow, do we have an exciting video today for our ALPP shareholders. So if you are an ALPP shareholder, go down there, smash the like button, and smash the subscribe button, because it's free and you'll never miss an episode. And I'm the only person on YouTube that covers ALPP every single week, because it is one of our channel favorites stocks. So guys, we have news on the NASDAQ. We also have some really important news from Kent Wilson, the CEO of Alpine4 himself. So don't miss anything in this video because it's so, so important if you are a shareholder to hear all of this news, to understand why there has been volatility in the share price, where the share price is going to go in the future, and how we can expect Alpine4 to deliver over the next few quarters moving forward against their competition. And again, where that NASDAQ uplisting, where has it gone? So he's going to explain all of that so you don't want to miss any of it. So again, make sure to smash the like button if you find value at any point and hit that big red subscribe button and join the family and if you would like access to my buy and sell alerts then be sure to join the patreon for the price of a copy there is only a few slots left guys and again that is on invest with jace at patreon so let's go straight into the interview joining me right now is kent wilson ceo at alpine four holdings Ken, good to see you. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks so much for asking. Ken, today we were talking about your earnings. You did increase revenue by 19% year over year. Can you talk us through some of the highlights here? Yeah, I mean, 2020 was a very interesting year for Alpine 4. I mean, dealing with the nuances of COVID, it, it created a lot of different challenges for us on so many different levels. And really when you're a complex company like Alpine 4 is, you know, we have a lot of moving parts, uh, you know, diverging subsidiaries and different types of holdings facing different types of challenges. But, you know, overall we did grow at roughly 19% over 2019's numbers, which, you know, on the surface is good, right? But the reality is we should have grown at 67% over 2019. We're down off of what we should have done, but still grew over what we did in 2019. And that was primarily from adding acquisitions. That being said, you know, 2020 was a brutal year on every facet of it. I mean, we made the decision to really keep our employees, not only because it was advantageous for us going further, but it was the right thing to do. You know, these people have families, our employees have families, they have children. Uh, we decided that we were going to take on that burden, no matter what it costs to keep employees employed. So guys, this is why I absolutely love Kent. He's an, an absolutely phenomenal human. I mean, to put your employees first over your business, to understand and recognize that families, people have children, they need jobs. This is why I'm invested in Alpine 4. Like I've said so many times, there are so many CEO, CEOs guys out there that do not have the same mindset. They are only corporate, they are business focused, which again is great for driving profits. But where is that shareholder value? Where is that relationship with the employee? and if you cannot treat your staff or employees well, then you're not going to have a fundamental business that is going to grow and develop because you're just going to get those good people and they're going to leave. These people are going to stick by Alpine 4, which is going to allow them internally to have a very successful business. You need a good CEO, guys. It's so, so, so important to drive a business to the level of success that it has to be arrived at. And Alpine 4 are going for the top. Kent has made it so clear. I've seen every single interview that he has done on YouTube over the last year, guys. I've seen every single one, even dating back to to 2017 and he just comes out every single month and he gives us news he keeps the shareholders obviously in full awareness of what's going on with the share price with the nasdaq uplisting they're so transparent with all of that news on their twitter page and that's why i'm able to do these videos for you guys because he is so on top of it and it takes a great leader a great ceo to do that and i really do believe in this company because they have a leader such as kent so guys this is why i am investing in alpine 4 and i hope that you guys can see the light finally at the end of the tunnel as Kent is explaining all of these things for us. So let's get back into the interview. And so, but that comes at a cost. We ended up, when you really count all that stuff, um, the loss of revenue from 47 million down to 35 million or 33 million, and the the overall impacts of increased competition from the, the, the lagging of work that went on, uh, we lost $8 million. The good news is, you know, 2021 is a, we are a completely different company. So. The revenue grew. Um, our profit levels were far from what we were expecting in 2020. But, you know, at the end of the day, we are here. We have many competitors. I would say a, almost a third of our competitors industry-wide are no longer in business or they're so 
neutered, if you will, uh, that they can't really uh, perform in the way that we can. So we're excited for 2021. We're glad to put 2020 behind us. So essentially what Kent is saying is that the competition right now has narrowed so much for Alpine and due to the Rony Rona, the pandemic had in fact affected so many businesses of similarities to Alpine themselves. So a lot of that competition has now been cut, which is putting Alpine for at the top of the trajectories for the leadership of these companies. So guys, they are in a massive market and again, they are in fact dominating. They are one of the number one players from a lot of their subsidiaries. Moving forward, there is going going to be less competition which means a better share price for us Alpine for shareholders because we can expect the revenues to grow as they expand and take up that market share and again that market cap will increase so what was next and it seems like you've already been experiencing some good growth in Q2 is that right yeah, I mean, so to talk about 2021 it, and why we're really a fundamentally different company, we were able to effectuate a $50 million capital raise and an additional $9 million drawn down from our equity line. And so we raised $59 million total. It completely fundamentally changed our balance sheet. I mean, we, we were able to take our cash, pay off almost all of our debt, especially our higher interest debt. Um, that will yield a lot of great things. But in Q1, we went from a negative 8 million to a positive 40 plus million, positive equity. So that's a wonderful thing to have. It fundamentally changes things for us. In Q1, we were able to um, empower and equip our subsidiaries to be hyper competitive, meaning before where, you know, we were okay, hey, we were looking at how do we buy a product to bring in to manufacture it out. Uh, we would have to go to our, our vendors and accept terms and those cost higher they, they cost more okay and as we got into q1 and able to effectuate better buying practices we're seeing two three sometimes up to ten percent discount because we're paying you know with within 10 days how do we do that well we raised the cash to be able to do that and it's made us very competitive the net effect of that is what you really are getting into in q2 of 2021 we're starting to see some explosive growth and the efforts and the labor and the pain of 2021 is or 20 is finally really paying dividends. We're, I mean, in every vertical market that we're dealing with right now, we're having a shortage of labor. We can't find the people to work. They've either gone out of the industry to different trades or they simply are comfortable where they're at and they just don't want to work. But we as a company were able to retain, you know, 95% of our employees. So we're having opportunities that our competitors just can't match. And we're very excited about that. So what we're seeing in Q2 and really Q3 of this year, uh, we're starting to see some explosive growth. And what's going to happen from that is a, it's the realization of our hard work and the effectuation of that capital raise that's going to pay some pretty big dividends to our shareholders um, and our company long term. And would that potentially lend itself to profitability on the horizon? Yeah. I mean, we're running models right now. Q1, I mean, frankly, Q1 would be profitable, uh, except for one thing. When we did do our capital raise, uh, we pay a broker fee for that. Our capital raise is $59 million. So we have several million dollars in broker fees on that. That gets expunged through the PL statement. But if you separate that number out, the company did very well in Q1, and we're excited about that. Q2, without that expense from raising the capital, it's it's looking very, very good for Q2 as far as profitability goes. Excellent. And I'm sure you get this question a lot, but can you give us any kind of update on your uplisting to the NASDAQ? You know, thank you. Uh, we do get that question very often. Uh, you know, when we gave the estimate back in February uh, of two weeks, that that process, that time frame, was actually given from the NASDAQ as far as their timing goes. In fact, if you look at their website, they actually have the four to six week time frame. So we gave that out based on NASDAQ guidance. Um, what's going on? I mean, that's a valid question from our shareholders. Well, it's nothing that Alpine's done. Alpine is actually fundamentally stronger than it has ever been. We, we meet every check mark of the NASDAQ. What has happened is in January, early January, they have been inundated with new listings which is good for the NASDAQ. It shows how strong that platform is. But the reality is, I mean, where they were probably doing one listing a week, they're doing five to 10. And so they're just, frankly, it's overwhelmed. So we've decided, and our shareholders, I'm, I'm talking to you, you need to be patient. Good things are coming. 
Uh, there is no reason to believe that we won't be uplisted to the NASDAQ. I'm in communication with them fairly often. They're going through the process that they have, but we do need to give them the time to uh, do what they need to do. And we'll get there together. So guys, with the NASDAQ uplisting, there it is. That is the news from Kent himself. We do not have to worry as shareholders. The NASDAQ uplisting is all to do with the NASDAQ. They have submitted all of their work. And like I had pointed out in my last ALPP video, which I only released about five days ago, which you can link, uh, well, the link will be above if you want to see it. I did say that there was another company, the Very Food Company. Guys, they in fact had their NASDAQ uplisting over 19 weeks ago. And only last week did they in fact qualify and Nasdaq in fact approved it. So even though they announced it was going to be a few weeks, it ended up being 19 weeks. We are only at week 12 right now with the ALPP uplisting to Nasdaq since they announced it in February. So moving forward, guys, we just have to be patient. It has got nothing to do with Kent. It's got nothing to do with Alpine, despite the fact that there are so many haters and there's so many people saying that this is not going to happen. Kent has said it himself from the horse's mouth. They have submitted everything. We have nothing to worry about. And it is in fact Nasdaq. They in fact are doing all of the work behind the scenes right Right now and once they can get back to him because they are just flooded right now with applications with work because it's such a successful platform and the Rony Rona has in fact impacted the businesses around the globe. So guys this is uh, really good news for Alpine 4. I know the markets are extremely volatile right now. I know nothing makes sense. They released a great quarter of almost 20% revenue year over year and again he's saying that they're going to dominate the markets moving forward. They have less competition. They're growing and expanding their business. They've got the Nasdaq. There's so many good things coming and what happened? The share price sold off the share price did sell off, yes. But again, it just goes to show that you need conviction. If you are, in fact, in the markets, you have to have a tough mindset. It's no good, guys, if you are in this for a short term or if you have a weak mindset because investing takes time, it takes patience, and it's a gift to see your favorite stocks like Alpine that are, in fact, on sale. Because, guys, in a year or two from now, is Alpine 4 going to be around $3? I really don't think it will be. With the way that this business is rolling, with the way that Kent wants to expand their competition, with the way they are acquiring, acquiring new businesses with the way that they are going to be uplisted to Nasdaq. We are going to have banks, institutions, firms. We are even going to have more retail investors being able to trade Alpine 4 because once it's on Nasdaq, you're going to get the platforms on Robinhood and all those different broker apps. So there's going to be so much more volume traded on this stock. And that is why I'm a believer in Alpine 4 and why I continue to stress on this channel that if you hold through these spouts of volatility, guys, for the long term, you will be rewarded. These prices are in fact a gift right now for us to average down for the long term because it's no good if you are in this obviously just for a month or two. If you are doing that guys then you are basically gambling unless you have a pure strategy and you know exactly your price targets where you see the stock going in the short term four to six weeks and you know you can get in and get out. But right now the markets have turned upside down. It is a lot of volatility around so those penny stocks like Alpine 4 are going to be heavily affected. That is why you need a plan, a long term focus as I say if you're going to invest in these types of companies. So guys that wraps up this video. I really do hope that you found a lot of enjoyment. Don't forget to go down there, smash that like button, hit that big red subscribe button and welcome to this family of investors. My name is Jason. Again, if you would like access to the private Patreon Discord where we talk about stocks all day, you can ask me anything personal or business related, then I would be happy to help. Then be sure to check out the Patreon. I will leave the link in the description below. So guys, have a fantastic week ahead. The sun is shining behind me and I hope to see you guys back on my channel soon for some more content on investing. Ciao.